I was actually surprised to learn that people didn't know about this plant even though we've been here for 34 years because it's such low impact that nobody can see it. So we want to get the word out that we are here and that we do have these benefits to the community. Now, look around and tell me which of you uses the most power in your house. Most power plants use a large quantity of water that drop maybe 100 feet. We use a very small amount of water that drops 2,400 feet and it generates enormous pressure. So it's the pressure rather than the water that creates the power. Four of these equals one foster reservoir. Because we have so little impact, we've won the Oregon Governor's Energy Award. We're the first project in Oregon to be certified as low impact. It's sort of the gold standard of electrical hydro production. Once a year, we give a field trip to elementary school students from Lebanon. And I'm smiling because it's the best day of the year for all of us who operate the plant. Look at how thick those tubes are going into the transformer. I have been going on this field trip for over 25 years. I've come back so many times because it is a hands-on, practical thing for kids to learn from. They can actually see the hydroelectricity process um, from beginning to end, all in one day. You're taking electrical energy to into mechanical energy which is the opposite of what the generator is doing. We just kept improving it. So we figured out more hands-on things for kids and more gadgets for them to play with. They're not sitting still in a classroom. I think they're gonna learn even more. Right now, Oregon requires that 15% of its electricity comes from renewable sources. But by the year 2040, Oregon will require 50%. It's gotta come from someplace. And ideally, a plant like this which can last another 70 years, would be a natural source of that renewable energy. Before it goes into the pipe. In one sense, the laws in place help promote independent power producers like me. They require the utilities to purchase from us at essentially the cost that it would otherwise take the utilities to provide power. These projects could last forever if we had decent contracts. Under the current conditions, if I can't get a contract for a renewable energy, this plant would have to close. We need to change the laws so the incentive of the utilities, the incentives of the developer or the independent producer, and the incentives of the public and the environment are all aligned. And that can be done. There should be no reason why projects like this have to be taken out of the ground. If it wasn't here, there'd be a great loss. And I think there are other hydro plants that give out information to kids, but to see it, touch it, feel it, you know, walk around it, uh, there's no way to replace that kind of extension of the classroom.